back to Plant Mamacita. So depending on the previous video, I am going to be making a new video. So yes, I'm going to be re-entering <laughs> into the video, but it's the same day and we are now at a Home Depot. So we, I haven't been to this one in probably a year. Yeah, like, or, well at least since I've been or yeah, probably, because ever since I moved, it, I moved further away from this one. So we're here now. We're going to check it out. Um, it used to be really good all the time again. So it's in a good area, and hopefully they have some good stock in right now. Um, but yeah, and depending on my battery life, how long, and how much stuff they have to show, I might have to like continue off from my phone. So if the quality changes, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try not to let that happen. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go on in. All right, so we are outside barely and they already have some plants on this rack here. Um, they have some ZZ plants, the regular green form for $14.98. This is the Vigoro line. They have these pretty different bakias <laughs> with the dead knot on it how sad <laughs> oh yeah and how unique is this i've never seen a birkin in the vigoro line so it's only 15 dollars and you get like two plants in here that's a good find this is a really good deal right here what else they have a uh, maria aglianima which is gorgeous this one's in good shape. Again, you get like two plants or three even. That's really good. Golden Pothos, more Diffenbachia, Sansevieria, <clears throat> Bird's Nest Fern. And then they have two different types of Diffenbachia. Ooh. Up here, they have these huge cactus. Beautiful. They're $39. They're called Sun Goddess. So pretty. Mm. Y'all can see better than me. Looks like agave. Yeah, for $42.98. They have these huge succulents and cacti as well. Look at this one here. It's called a Tails Euphorbia. Oh, cool. It looks like um, coral. They have these huge cacti here. So pretty. This one's very full. They have the humongous Gasteria. Some of these beautiful echevrias that are blooming. Ooh, they have huge ruby cascade. That's beautiful for $12.98. So nice. They're very full. They have string of beans, I think. They have all these Haworthia and Gasteria plants. Mm. I saw something. Oh yeah, they had some bear paws. So cute and variegated Kalanchoe. Even variegated Jade. And variegated, um, this, I, th I forgot the name, I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, I have to see what it is. Chrysula Perforta, perf I don't know. Oh, it's not even showing. How cool. Okay, let's go inside. I'm spending like too much time. <laughs> okay, but I have to show you these fire sticks. <laughs> Look how beautiful and glowing these are. $39.98 for these guys. So pretty. 
Okay, let's just do a break since we're here. Variegated Apuntia. Um. Oh, look at this cacti. It's so hairy. Okay, so we're inside. Oh my goodness, look how huge this leaf is. This is a Global Green Pothos. Oh my goodness, how huge. That's so pretty and they have a lot of them. So gorgeous. Of course, they have your Birkin, Raven ZZs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look how full these pots are. For $19.98. We have Bambino fiddles. So pretty. These beautiful begonias again. Beautiful monster at Insonia's. The wide leaf forms. Looks like they only have a few. But these leaves are huge. Okay, more big row line. This is their peace lilies. Super gorgeous for $14.98. They have a huge ZZ plant. Oh, Sansevieria. Oh, more. They have a whole bunch of Maria here. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. One of my favorite Aglionemas. Okay. Here are their smaller house plants. Got some Maria Syngonium here. So beautiful. It's in really good shape, too. Um, bird nest fern. Ooh, ooh, they still have a whole bunch of begonia types. They have this one here. This is like a darker foliage. They have the escargo. And they have, I think, I forgot the name. I think it's a looking glass. So gorgeous. They have Jewel Dracaena. Kylia, Dark Mystery. These are always fun to see. They're so pretty. Here, to take one out for y'all. They're actually really cool plants. I feel like they don't get enough credit. But they are part of that Kylia family, so they're a little bit hard. Ooh, they have little tiny rabbit's foot ferns. So adorable. The fuzzy roots. Cute. They have, ooh, they still have these inch plants, Tratoscantias, here. So beautiful. I love this Tratoscantia for sure. Um, what else? Ooh, African Violets. Ooh, Red Fetonia. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This would have been good for Valentine's. That's so vibrant. Four ninety-eight. Okay. And behind me, here are some golden pothos and a lot of dracaena plants. Uh, let's go back here. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. we have more! Yay! Um. Bird nest, or sorry, not bird nest. Bird of Paradise for $19.98. A lot of oh, ponytail palms. Okay, let's check it out. What's hiding over here? Some bird gowns. They have Prostrata Peperomia. Um, all these, all, oh, they're kind of struggling over here. Oh my god, they have this chocolate anthurium. 
That's awesome. This one has like a darker bloom compared to your usual. You always see red and pinks, but this one is kind of more harder to come by. This one's beautiful. They call it a flamingo flower. That's cute. <laughs> and it's for $14.98, which is a good deal because you get a cash co. That's pretty. You got some ficus over here. And $19.98. These are like bonsais. And some of these beautiful bamboo or dracaena plants. Super pretty. They have more smaller house plants. More of the inch plants. The polka dots. Uh, ooh, look at this. I actually had this plant. This is one of my very first plants. It's a peperomia jade, or a green peperomia. Oh look, they have another one. I know it's the one I had because of the red edging it had on the leaves. It's really pretty. This one's a good one too. I am just so bad with peperomia though. Like I just feel like every time I water it, the leaves fall or drop. So I just stay away from them. <laughs> Love them from afar. Love them from a distance. And a bunch of these cacti. Ooh, this one's pretty. It's a... Uh... Oh, it's that one I can't pronounce again. Let's try it. Polvaskia chichip. Chichipi? Chichipi? I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty. Yeah, same as outside, kind of. And here's the other side of the little house plants. We have some Janet Craig, Tradescantia Zebrina. Very shimmery. What else? Ivies, Croatans, Purple Passion. Mm, ooh, they even have this teardrop peperomia. They have these wrapped up still. There's some Croatan autograph. Oh no, Crucia. These are beautiful. My mother-in-law has one of these. It's so gorgeous. And some Dracaena plant. And then hiding behind the grills, what? They have some of these beautiful plants. They still have these beautiful ornatas. These are so pretty. I remember they're so hard to find before and now they're like just hanging out in the Home Depot's ponytail palm. This beautiful aglionema here with the red edging and the pink stems. So pretty. Gotta love your aglionemas. What else? I think that's it. Okay, so I'm over here actually really analyzing these global greens. I'm very, very, very tempted because I don't have one yet. Um, but this one here has the most pretty variegation on almost all of the leaves. Even the new growth is still putting out that beautiful variegation that it it's so pretty. This one in particular, they, it has like these little stripes on them. Too. I don't know if that's mosaic disease though, so that's what kind of scares me. I don't know if it comes out on camera. And then there's like another one that has like, I don't know, like really nice variegation like you see right here. But I don't know if it's good, if that's a good thing. Maybe y'all can let me know. And then next time I'll pick one up, but this one's and I don't know. It looks cool, but I don't know if it's like a good thing to have that. 
but this one is actually so gorgeous and big and full and so variegated. Oh, the tempting. I'm so tempted. Okay guys, so I just finished in Home Depot and they had some really, really cute stuff and awesome stuff. I, my gosh, I almost bought a Global Green. I don't have one yet and I really kind of want one. I don't know, like at first they, I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast. It's because my battery is dying. <laughs> but um, at first when they came out, I thought they were really pretty, but I was kind of, I don't know, like it wasn't like, oh my God, I have to have it, you know? But lately, they're just, I don't know, catching my eye. Um, I still didn't end up picking it up, but I kind of want one. So I might get one soon, but unless I find another plant um, soon. It's because it's I honestly save my money for like the really hard to find stuff. Um, Global Greens are kind of popping up and more common now. So I kind of feel like, oh, I could always get it later, you know? But like whenever it comes to like Hoyas or like unique like variegation, I kind of am holding out for that. I told you my battery was dying. Okay, so we're on phone camera. But yeah, so like I was saying, I hold out for like those kinds of plants whenever I do buy plants. And so I just, you know, if I could, I know I could find it later, I hold off and I know better. But yeah, so that's why I didn't pick one up and that's why I probably haven't picked one up still. Um, I'm just waiting to find because you never know. I save my money. I save my money for that. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere to any more places. Um, we'll see. I do have to head back home and it's kind of a drive and we do pass quite a few big box stores. So we'll see where we end up, but it might be phone quality filming, but if we do stop, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. I love taking you guys along with me. It's so fun to talk about plants with y'all and shop and have someone to talk to. It makes a big difference rather than just shopping around by yourself and you're kind of like talking out loud or you're just thinking in your head like, ooh, like you know if someone was here I would tell them this but it's fun whenever I get to record and take y'all along with me plant shopping I really really do love making these videos but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling I gotta head home and I I'm gonna go ahead and conclude it here thank you guys so much for watching and going plant shopping with me today go ahead and give this video a big like for me to support my channel and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into plenty things and I'll see y'all in the next one bye